so we're adjusting the, the thermostatic switch, which is way over there. That, that little doohickey uh, to transmit the transmits the temperature to this little box down here. Tell and them that. that why don't you that, tell them? Shut up. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that this 66 Ford Mustang has the cooling fan out of a 1987 Peugeot 505 turbo. And nobody thinks that French people can make good stuff, I beg to differ. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but uh... There's some French in this well, Mustang. Hopefully that's uh, <laughs> temporarily. It, well, it's not going to be temporary. You'll leave it. I know you will. Until it burns out. Because of your great wiring. But um... Yeah, why don't you demonstrate once more uh, how this fan works using the adjustable temperature knob. You're the one that bought the wrong inline fuse. So if it burns up, it's going to be your fault. Okay. fan is activated. Deactivated. Deactivated. Now show them all the other shiny stuff you bought. Oh. You like spending money. So all the other stuff I bought includes a brand new uh, aluminum radiator northern radiators um... The water pump pulley water pump pulley build aluminum thermostat housing that doesn't fit right that barely fits above the water pump pulley but and it's, it's gonna good. scrape it might scrape temporarily in for a few miles temporarily this okay. is all temporarily don't forget about your uh, little diddly do. Oh, uh, yeah, and got the billet aluminum chromed alternator bracket, whatever. And be aware to whoever buys parts from a certain website that that doesn't mean because it says it's going to fit, means it is going to fit. Yeah. Case in point, that fan and the spacer. Yeah. Um, this fan over here from, I believe, Mustang. Yeah, I got this from Mustangs Plus. And using it in conjunction with my new aluminum radiator and billet water pump pulley did not fit in between that little space. Frig, no, it did not. Neither did the stock fan. The stock fan had even less clearance, so... We decided to do an electric fan. With about two inches right in front of the water pump pulley. And the only thing we could do was electric fan as a pusher. In front of the radiator. It barely fits. It barely fits. Um, it's it's pushing enough air, hopefully, to cool this engine off, and it should run pretty good. So, Alright, yeah. I shut the camera off and let's finish this. Before my battery dies, this is it for now. Um, yeah, that's about it. The electric fan installed. We'll get another video when it's all done and cleaned up and running and yeah. the fan is actuating Got on its own. Fill the coolant tank and fill the radiator with coolant and then fire it up. See if she starts and drives and cools and all that. Alright, that's it for now. This is Tommy, I'm Nick. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.